All right, so in this podcast uh, clip here, uh, Ian Levine mentions that he knows of someone who has Tenth Planet Episode 4, but not only refuses to return it, uh, he says that basically they'd rather have it burnt than return it, which, yeah. Now, you might be thinking, why on earth would someone want that, but there's there's kind of a mindset among some of the collectors like that, you know, well, the BBC, you know, destroyed it in the first place. They don't deserve it back and also to keep its, you know, rarity alive. But still, I don't know. I mean, burning it, destroying it forever, it's just kind of just like, you know, being a dickhead for a dickhead's sake. But, yeah... I, I don't know. Like someone Ian Levine refuses to name, but it's apparently someone he's been dealing with uh, for years. And I think he said, you know, that he's been told about getting possibly others in that film. But, yeah, now, some people are probably wondering, could this be a lie? Is this possible? And it's very much possible, because especially considering we've got the other three episodes from the story, then a fourth the fourth and final episode is generally, you know, more likely, like, the more episodes that exist from a story, then generally the more likely it is that uh, others exist from it as well. So, yeah, but will this be something that happens anytime soon or ever? Don't know. Don't know. I mean, it's unconfirmed, but... Supposedly, Ian Levine is sitting on some missing episodes himself that he hasn't returned. But the reason he does that is so that he's got something to trade with other missing episode collectors. So, you know, that was uh, one of the reasons why he didn't return uh, um, Enemy of the World Part 6. Because he was wanting basically to trade this and that, obviously... There, what was it? Philip Morris, I think his name was. I can't remember off the top of my head, but basically, you know, that completely destroyed him finding another copy, completely destroyed its value instantly. So, yeah, it's kind of a double edged sword with this because obviously, you know, when you've got missing episodes trade, then you can, you're more likely to be able to trade more. But then, as soon as you know, you hand them into the BBC then that destroys, you know, its value completely, so, yeah, let's hope this person doesn't destroy the episode, let's hope, because uh, it could be a case of that they do, just because Ian Levine said that, just because, despite everyone, because some of them are, some are like that, so, for example, um, the, according to, I think it was PP Prophecy who said that, or someone else, I can't remember, said the guy who owns the last uh, piece of the Prochosky box, the last remaining piece, has it in their will for it to be destroyed after their death. So, yeah, it's disappointing this, but, well, it gives us hope. It gives us some hope that maybe, maybe one day, I mean, if you don't want to, you know, just, just release it online, obviously that'll never happen either, but there you go.